Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. See, there are many students who are asking me to upload videos on this plant tissue culture technique. That's only the reason I'm uploading video on this. And even there are uh, many types of the plant tissue culture technique. And this will be a series of videos. From here, there will be a series of videos upon this plant tissue cultures technique. Because there are different types of plant tissue cultures like stem culture, seed culture, callus culture, meristem culture, pollen culture, anther culture, organ culture, embryo culture. Like this, there are different types of uh, you know techniques which are involved in this plant tissue culture. So, to learn all of these types of these cultures, firstly you have to know the basic method which is involved in this plant tissue culture. That's only the reason I am making this firstly this video. So, from here I am going to explain you the series of videos based on this type of the cultures. So, coming to the basic technique which is involved in the plant tissue culture. So, I am not going to explain you the definition here. I am going to explain you this definition last. But first let us discuss, let us discuss about this procedure which is involved in this plant tissue culture technique. So, because if I explain you that procedure, then this definition can be easily understandable by, by you. So that's only the reason I'm going to explain you the procedure first. So let us enter into the protocol of this plant tissue culture technique. So what is the first step which is involved in this plant tissue culture technique? Selection of a mother plant. So you have to select a mother plant and make sure that mother plant is well developed. Well developed is nothing but that the root system as well as the shoot system should be well developed. That's nothing but here the shoot system. What is mean by shoot system actually? the region which is present above the soil so this will be your soil layer and above the soil this system is called as a shoot system where what where the shoot system includes leaves stem you know flowers fruits each and everything comes under the shoot system itself but coming to the root system only the roots will be present because it is just present below the soil so make sure that shoot system as well as the root system should perfectly developed and that perfectly developed plant should be chosen and that's called as a mother plant. So what is the first step which is involved in the plant tissue culture? Selection of a mother plant which has been well developed. So coming to the second step, what you have to perform? So now you have to select a X plant. So here properly, if you listen to here properly, normally for this plant tissue culture technique, you have to select a X plant. What is mean by explant actually? Explant is nothing but a part of a mother plant. So if you take or else if you take a part of a root or else if you take a part of a leaf or else any flower or else any uh, meristem or else any stem like that. So you can take. So here I have took leaf for your better understanding for the easy purpose also. I have took leaf here. And the leaf is not called as an explant students. The part of a leaf. I mean we have to cut a part of a leaf like this and this part of a leaf is called as an explant. For example, if you take flower in this case, you have to cut uh, the anthers as well as the pollens and that anthers and pollens are called as explants. So indirectly we can call this explant as a part of a mother plant. Okay. So now you have chosen a explant right now. So next what is the purpose you have to do? So you have chosen the explant, it's okay. So we know that there is a presence of the bacteria in the mother plant. So when you choose the explant, the explant also consists of the bacteria, right? So the main thing which you have to do is the surface sterilization. So what is the main purpose of this ter surface sterilization is that to remove the bacteria. To remove the bacteria which is present on the surface of the explant, the surface sterilization process is very much necessary. So how this bacteria will be removed, let us see enough. Firstly, you have to take a beaker or else any jar like thing and inside that beaker, you have to add sodium hypochlorite solution and this sodium hypochlorite solution has a capacity to kill the bacteria which is present on the surface of the explant. So you have to, uh, you know, you have to add this explant inside this sodium hypochlorite solutions. Then what happens immediately the bacteria will get killed by the presence of the sodium hypochlorite solution. So now in the next step, what you have to do is that you have to remove the explant from that sodium hypochlorite solution and then you have to add uh, firstly, you have to take a, another beaker and you have to add diluted water, I mean, sorry, distilled water. And in this distilled water, you have to take this explant and you have to add this explant in this distilled water. And once you add this distilled water, you have to wash that, uh, you know, for three to four minutes. And then you have to remove that explant. And now that explant which has been formed will be free from bacteria because we have performed this total surface sterilization process. And the total surface sterilization process uh, occurs within 10 minutes. The time period of the surface sterilization is 10 minutes. So now, here the explant will be finally formed, which has been uh, free from virus, which has been formed as a free from virus. So now, next step, what you have to do is that from here, the actual process of the, you know, plant tissue culture occurs. So what is the process behind? So firstly, you have to take a test tube. And in the test tube, you have to add the nutrient medium. So, so now what is discussed about the nutrient medium which is mainly necessary for this plant tissue culture. So why this, uh, why it is very much necessary for the plant tissue culture students? Because this nutrient medium consists of the nutrients which are very much necessary for the explant to get developed into a complete mature plant. 
so why it is necessary let us see here so actually what are the nutrients which are present in this nutrient medium and the best example of this nutrient medium is ms medium and ms is nothing but murashige and skog hence uh, this both are the scientists who discovered this ms medium and hence it is named as uh, ms medium okay so what are the major nutrients which are present in this uh, you know nutrient medium macronutrients micronutrients growth hormone regulators organic nutrients so these are the four things which are present in this nutrient mediums and even this macronutrients consists of nitrogen potassium calcium phosphorus and each of these uh, nutrient plays a different role okay and even this micronutrients also zinc manganese copper molybdenum and iron even this will also plays different role growth hormone regulators where it is very much important auxin cytokines and gibberellins and here cytokines plays a major and vital role in this plant tissue culture technique so why it plays a major and vital role i am going to explain you the in the procedure process so coming to the organic nutrients vitamins amino acids and carbohydrates here uh, the vitamins includes thiamine pyridoxine nicotinic acid and here amino acids we know that there are 20 different type of amino acids and among those 20 different type of amino acids glycine is mostly preferred and carbohydrates should be taken in the form of a carbon sources so what are carbon sources like if you take a glucose you know fructose sucrose and here sucrose plays a major role in this plant tissue culture where mostly preferred will be sucrose only because uh, you know it mainly helps in the development of a plant so here i have said you that cytokines plays a major role so what is that role i'm going to say enough so you, you have taken a test tube and within the test tube you have added the nutrient medium and now here the explant which we have uh, got like a product in the form where uh, which is free from bacteria should be added into this nutrient medium which is present in the test tube then immediately immediately with a fraction of seconds what you have to do is that you have to close this test tube with a cotton so why you are going to close this test tube with a cotton because because uh, we know that there is in the environment there is a presence of harmful bacteria as well as the useful bacteria and if there is a presence of harmful bacteria in the surrounding of our experiment then there is a chance of attack in the entry of the, to the entry of this test tube right so to prevent that you have to keep this cotton for the closure of this test tube so this is how you have to prepare the uh, you know you have to prepare a culture so basic culture and now what you have to do you have to incubate it that's nothing but the process of the incubation so what is meant by incubation actually so i have said you that in the nutrient medium the cytokines plays a major role so what is the major role of the cytokines is that it undergoes the cytokinesis process so actually what is meant by cytokinesis students cytokinesis means the cell division process so here if you say here this is the explant and even the nutrient medium consists of the cytokines which is in the form of growth hormone regulators now here this explant absorbs this cytokinins and now we have we know that the cytokinins has a capacity of the cell division right so now once this explant will absorb those cytokinins then this explant undergoes cell division because this explant itself consists of cells and this explant undergoes a cell division and forms a mass of cells and that mass of cells is called as callus right and this whole process is called as incubation where it occurs in the time period of 3 to 6 weeks and the temp temperature should be applied to it and what is the temperature should be applied 15 to 25 degrees celsius students okay so finally here there will be a formation of a callus so how the callus will be formed here by the rapid division of the explant so how we can define this callus callus is a mass of a group of cells where it is mainly formed by the rapid division of the explant when it is exposed to the nutrient medium right so here finally the callus has been formed and make sure that the cotton should not get removed it should get packed tightly okay so that there will be no uh, you know entry of the bacteria into this tube so now here in the next step what you have to do is that there is no performance which will be done by us because the callus itself will get developed into a plant so directly it will not get developed into a plant where this callus plays a major role where it undergoes the process of the embryogenesis or else organogenesis where this where this callus has a two different roles it undergoes either embryogenesis or else direct organogenesis so what is embryogenesis this callus will form a embryo and that embryo will undergo the formation of a new cultured plant and that is called as embryogenesis whereas in the organogenesis there will be no formation of embryo students where this uh, direct formation of the plant occurs and here in the embryogenesis embryo formation occurs from the callus but whereas in the case of organogenesis direct formation of the plant occurs from the callus so here i have i have just drawn the formation of this organogenesis and later in the next video i'm going to explain you about the embryogenesis because even this embryogenesis and organogenesis will be classified into two types they are direct embryogenesis and indirect embryogenesis whereas in the case of organogenesis also direct organogenesis whereas indirect organogenesis will be present and there is a much more explanation on this embryogenesis and organogenesis i am going to explain you in a next other video where i said you that i am going to make a series of videos right 
so in this word in this in those videos i'm going to explain you it so here finally the callus will be formed we know that and once the callus undergoes organogenesis i am explaining you here in the uh, in the case of organogenesis in the small unit so here the callus will be formed and now callus undergoes shoot formation so what is the shoot region and what is the root region i have said you already in the beginning of this procedure where root system is nothing but where the roots are present i mean the system which is present below the soil is called as root system and the parts or as a region which is present above the soil is called as shoot system so finally what happens after the formation of the callus it undergoes a shoot formation i have said you shoot formation is nothing but the development of a leaves as well as this you know meristem as uh, you know all of these parts which is present in the shoot development of the shoot occurs and remember the cotton should not get removed and even it should not get removed in the in the case of a simple mistakes also because if you remove that then immediately there will be entry of a pathogenic bacteria okay so now uh, until the end of the experiment you have to not remove this cotton or else instead of uh, placing the cotton you can also place the lid okay so now here the shoot formation has been done and in the next step what will happen finally formation of the shoot occurs so this will be your so, sorry formation of the root occurs because the shoot has been already developed and once this uh, root formation has been done then it will be transferred into the soil to get well developed because this is called as a plantlet i mean it is very short in form uh, it is short in the form and as well as it is present in the test tube so we have to call it as a plantlet so firstly the shoot will be developed i mean the stem as well as the leaves will be developed and next stage what the roots will be developed right and this whole process occurs in the nutrient medium only students because the cytokinesis process occurs from this uh, you know what we say explant and here the cytokines plays a major role in the cell division and from this uh, what we say this callus and from this from this callus finally the shoot will be developed and from the shoot the root will be developed and now finally this will form the plantlet and that plantlets should get transported into the soil and once you get transported into the soil then it then it will get developed into a complete mature plant and now these plants should uh, will be supplied to the farmers so these farmers will cultivate in their appropriate lands for the process of this yielding so this will be the total process which will be exhibited in this plant issue culture students so again i'm going to explain you the briefly see here properly firstly you have to choose a mother plant and from that mother plant you are going to take an explant and that explant will undergo the surface sterilization process for the removal of the bacteria which is present on the surface and here the surface sterilization is nothing but taking a beaker which consists of the sodium hypochlorite solution and explant will be placed in it and then what happens now this explant will be removed and once this explant will be removed then it will be washed in the presence of a distilled water and once it is washed then you have to take that explant and make sure that this explant will doesn't consist of any more bacteria which is present on the surface right and now we have to take another tissue for the process of the cultivation and here the actual process begins right and now we are going to take a test tube where the nutrient medium is present and make sure that the nutrient medium consists of also consists of this growth hormone regulators vitamins and amino acids all of those nutrients which i have said you and now you are going to place that explant which is free from bacteria and once you place this this explant plays a major role in the cytokinesis process because it absorbs cytokines from the nutrient medium and now once this explant will absorbs those nutrient medium i mean the cytokines which is present in the nutrient medium then it undergoes the cell division process to form a callus so this callus is nothing but a group of mass of cells which is mainly formed by the rapid division of this explant by absorbing the cytokines in the nutrient medium is called as callus actually so this whole process is called as incubation where it occurs in 3 to 6 weeks remember this uh, you know both points it occurs in 3 to 6 weeks uh, time period of time and the temperature which will be applied is 15 to 25 degrees celsius and now the formation of the callus occurs and after the formation of the callus then immediately there will be a shoot formation and make sure that the cotton should not get removed this is one of the important thing which you have to uh, remember so here the shoot formation will occur and from the shoot formation is nothing but the development of a shoot from this callus and now immediately there will be a formation of a root that's nothing but uh, from this callus the root will also be developed so finally the shoot system as well as the root system will get perfectly developed where this is called as a plantlet because it is still present in a test tube itself and now you are going to remove that cotton and after the removal of that cotton you have to trans you have to transfer this plantlet into a pot which consists of the soil and you have to uh, grow it properly by pouring a water and appropriate uh, nutrients to it uh, you know it should get transferred into the soil and it should get developed into complete plant and this plants will get uh, you know transferred or else transported to the farmers and will be supplied to the farmers where sar- where farmers will be purchased where farmers will purchase this all of this plant which has been cultivated by the plant issue culture method and even the money for this farmers will be provided uh, by this government itself or else 
the money the money of this government will be directly provided to the companies itself to culture such plants uh, and to produce uh, these plants to the farmers which are very useful for many other members so this is the technique which has been involved here so now let us learn about the most important advantages of this plant tissue culture technique so now let us discuss about the advantages of this plant tissue culture technique so large number of plants can be produced in very short interval of time and this process is called as micro propagation so if you see that explanation which i have said you just now about the plant tissue culture technique it doesn't take more than 20 minutes because the process which has been held here is that only physical process where we have to choose a mother plant and we have to isolate the explant and now we have to do the surface sterilization this is the physical process which we have to do but the process doesn't occurs more than 20 minutes it is very quite easy and we can produce large number of plants in a very short time period and this phenomenon is called as micro propagation coming to the second advantage the plants which has been produced are genetically identical to that of mother plant so if you see here in my explanation which i have said you here these are these are these are the plants which has been produced by the plant tissue culture technique and this will be the mother plant right and this mother plant as well as this produced plant will be genetically identical because the explant which we have chosen is from the mother plant itself right so that mother plant will has a capacity to produce this plant which has similarly identical right and the plants the produced plants which are genetically identical to that of mother plant are called as soma clones and even in some cases the plants which are been produced will not be genetically identical to that of mother plant and those plants are called as soma clonal variants and how how these soma clonal variants occur by genetic mutations which occur during this process of this uh, what you say tissue culture so once this mutation occurs then it causes soma clonal variants and the phenomena is called as soma clonal variation and even i'm going to explain you the soma clonal variation uh, there is a much brief theory to explain about the soma clonal variation which i'm going to explain you in the next video next further videos so coming to the third advantage the commercially many more plants many important plants like tomato banana apple teak bamboo etc are produced by this method itself and next recovery of healthy plant from diseased plant is called as meristem culture actually so i have already done the video upon this uh, meristem culture it is very much important and even it will be asked in your examinations also so it is very important to remember so watch that video it will be given in the description box so meristem culture is nothing but for example if you take the mother plant and that mother plant consists of a disease right and now once you take the diseased mother plant and if you culture it then the product will be formed as a new plant right and that new plant which has been produced will be free from virus i mean free from bacteria because here uh, we are uh, we are culturing the technique right we are because we are using the nutrient medium and based on the nutrient medium we are going to the surface sterilization and all of this process will be involved but in this meristem culture we are going to take explant as a meristem apical meristem as well as the later meristem i have said you right and even the typical meristem will be of two types you know shoot apical meristem as well as the root apical meristem in this type you are going to take the meristem as a explant and you are going to culture that meristem in such a way that the product will be formed which is a new plant and that new plant which has been formed will be free from bacteria or is free from virus and those plants are called as meristem cultured plants okay so here the recovery of a healthy plant healthy plant is nothing but the product which has been formed is a healthy plant from the diseased plant the diseased plant is nothing but the mother plant which we have chosen right and this process is called as a meristem culture and the product which has been formed is called as a meristem cultured plant and that meristem cultured plant will finally supply to the farmers and again the farmers will yield it in their fields so this will be the process which will be involved in the plant tissue culture technique so i have said you that i am going to explain you the definition right so now let us learn about the definition so that you can easily understand now see if you see the explanation of this plant tissue culture technique definition you can write this definitions in very different way in different ways why because i already explained you the procedure of this explant uh, cultivation right so by knowing this uh, process itself you can write definitions in different ways like if you see here the laboratory technique of growing culturing and maintaining cells tissues and organs on artificial culture medium is called as a plant tissue culture so here uh artificial nutrient medium is nothing but the nutrient medium which consists of this macronutrients micronutrients growth hormone regulators and organic nutrients all of these are nothing but the nutrients which are present in the medium and hence it is named as a nutrient medium or as artificial nutrient medium where the explant will absorb the nutrient medium and will get developed into a complete new plant so this will be one definition or else another definition you can write like the production of the disease free plants from the mother plant which consists of a disease is called as a plant tissue culture technique or else you can also write the formation of a new plant from the explant by absorbing the nutrients which are present in the nutrient medium is called as a plant tissue culture technique so there are many definitions which you can write based upon your talent so 
This will be about your plant tissue culture technique. Yeah, yeah. One more important thing I have forgotten to say you here. Totipotency. So what is meant by totipotency? Totipotency is nothing but the ability of our explant to get developed into a complete plant. That's something but in the process of this I have explained you, right? This is the explant. Or, and I have said you that this explant is also called as a cell. And the development or the ability of a explant or as a cell to get developed into a complete plant, complete mature plant. That's nothing but the uh, at the end of the process the plant will get developed, right? So we can define this totipotency as the ability, the power, I mean the capacity of the cell to get developed into this complete plant is called as a totipotency. Right, and now there are different type of plant tissue cultures. I have said you right. So those plant tissue culture techniques are like stem culture, seed culture, callus culture, meristem culture, pollen culture, organ culture, and embryo culture. And here one of the important thing which you have to remember is that Haberland is called as a father of plant tissue culture. Okay, and in 1962, Murashi J and Skog uh, developed this MS medium. MS medium is nothing but the nutrient medium. It is named as MS because these are the names of the scientists called Murashi J and Skog. Hence, they named that medium as a MS medium. And in another video, I am going to prepare how the MS medium will be prepared. I am going to make that video how that MS medium will be prepared. So there is many, but there is much more process which is involved in the preparation of the MS medium. I am going to prepare the video upon this MS medium in next further videos. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like this videos, just do like and subscribe. And if you have any doubts regarding this technique of plant tissue culture then you can comment in the comment box i am going to your clarified doubts immediately thank you and even the notes of this video will be given in the whatsapp group and even the whatsapp group link invite link will be given in the description box so you can join us through that whatsapp group and then uh, the notes will be provided for you there